Hey Star Wars enthusiasts, we've seen our fair share of troublemakers among the Sith Lords. Darth Vader, Emperor Palpatine, the real heavyweights of evil. But guess what? Ever pondered a Sith who didn't dive into the whole dark side drama? Today we're delving deep into the story of the Sith Lord who, believe it or not, was actually a pretty nice guy. Meet the man known by the ominous title Darth Vectivus, though his real name remains one of the galaxy's well-kept secrets. Now, unlike your typical Sith hotshot who go berserk with the dark side, wreaking havoc left and right, Vectivus took a different route. He wasn't out there causing chaos. Instead, he was the money-savvy Sith rocking the finance game. Yeah. You heard it right, a Sith counting credits. But hold up, before you label him as just a Sith, Scrooge, money was just one facet of his intriguing personality. He didn't dive into the dark side for kicks. It was all about personal curiosity. The guy craved knowledge about the unknown, and mastering the dark side was his way of satisfying that intellectual itch. Now, his life had more twists than a hyperspace jump, making him a real enigma. Stick around and let's unravel why Darth Vectivus stands out in the Sith lineup. Appearing in Star Wars Legends, he was a Sith who used his Force mojo not to crush armies, but to build up wealth and power. While fans missed out on witnessing his full glory, according to legends, he's described as a gaunt, skeletal figure. Your typical Sith Lord vibe, right? Imagine the pale skin, dark eyes, and black hair, creating an eerie and menacing aura that gives you chills. Now, he's not just your run-of-the-mill Sith. His tall and thin build makes him even look more imposing, like a true force to be reckoned with. Now, let's talk about his fashion. He's got the classic dark robes with a hood, a Sith trademark, and don't forget his crimson lightsaber, a symbol of the Sith Order, with those diamond-shaped stones on the hilt flaunting his impressive style. Oh, and that scar on his cheek just adds to the extra touch of jagged intimidation. Very iconic Sith fashion, wouldn't you say? He doesn't even have the typical Sith origin story. He didn't have a tragic childhood or loss that pushed him towards the dark side like our other favorites. Darth Zana or Darth Vader, no. Vectivus started his journey in the dark and spooky mines he owned, where he discovered the unsettling impact of the dark side on his workers. Instead of ignoring it, he dove into the mysterious power and before you know it, Bam, Dark Lord of the Sith. Now, what's interesting is that Dark Vectivus wasn't just a Sith with a dark side hustle. He actually cared about his workers. Before embracing the dark side, he made sure they had new jobs. Good boss vibes in a Sith Lord. Who would have thought? But let's not forget his inquisitive side. He played mind games with Din, a Jedi Knight, testing her by tempting her to end him. Turns out she wasn't up for it, and in the end, he slyly told her she was too weak for Jedi life, nudging her towards the dark side. Now that's some crafty Sith advice. And here's the plot twist with Darth Vectivus. Unlike the usual Sith agenda of galaxy domination and Order 66 type of shenanigans. Vectivus had a simpler dream, live the high life. Luxury was the name of his game, and he played it ruthlessly. Just like in his business ventures, the guy was so money-minded that he went ahead and made his own holocron about it. Talk about commitment to your financial hustle, but it gets even better. Despite his ruthless streak, Darth Vectivus had a soft side for... wait for it baby animals. Yeah, you heard that right. In the vastness of the galaxy, he singled out Tatooine's Banthas as the most adorable creatures. Now, why did he think they were the cutest? I can't quite wrap my head around that. Maybe Sith Lords secretly have a thing for fluffy creatures. Who knew? That's a new one. All right, now hold on to your lightsabers, folks. Darth Vectivus was in your run of the mill Sith. He had some seriously cool tricks up his dark hooded sleeves. I'm talking shape-shifting. Yeah, this dude could channel his inner master of disguise and morph into a fellow Sith or Jedi, giving him a backstage pass to their secret gatherings. It's like galaxy espionage, but with Sith style. Now this wasn't your typical combat skill, no flashy lightsaber duels. This was some next level force control. Not every Sith Lord could pull off the shape-shifting game. So apart from his penchant for shape-shifting, he had a wicked cool power called Force Phantom. I'm not talking about a spooky apparition, no, no. He would use astral projection. The Force Phantom was the real deal, visible, audible, and touch. Vectivus could use his phantom to play cosmic messenger. Need to chat with your friends across the galaxy? No problem. Vectivus could summon his force phantom and drop some dark side wisdom wherever he pleased. One time, he even pulled a spooky stunt on a Jedi Knight named Nalani Din. After biting the dust, Vectivus sent his force phantom to give Din a fright test, literally haunting people from the grave. But here's the wild part. Each phantom was like a Sith spiritual tag team linked to a living being somewhere out there in the galaxy. So if anyone tried to mess with the Phantom, the poor innocent linked to it felt the heat. He also used Force Ghosts, which are a little different from Force Phantoms. Force Ghosts, unlike Phantoms, can't be physical, so all he could do with it was drop some wisdom on people. Also, this one was a Sith exclusive power that he managed to keep even after he died. So once upon a starry saga, Darth Vectivus kicked off his tail in the cosmic haven of Jonix 811b. Yeah, he had a family and even rolled with a squad of buddies. Friendship vibes alive and well in the Star Wars universe. Vectivus wasn't just a Sith. He was the top honcho at the mining gig on Jonix 8, the MZX-32905 system. 
But wait, there's more. He was an explorer, soaking up knowledge like a sponge and flexing his newfound wisdom in the art of intergalactic business. Now let me whisk you away to one of his wild adventures. Imagine Dark Vectivus, in a classic cosmic escapade, stumbles upon an asteroid belt near planet Bamil, and lo and behold, the rocks are a gold mine, or rather, a rare mineral mine. And what does our Sith Tycoon do? Without a second thought, he sets up his headquarters right there among the celestial riches. Talk about a Sith with a flair for adventure and business acumen, right? In the cosmic jackpot of discoveries, Darth Vectivus struck pure gold, or should I say, dark gold. But how did he stumble upon this jackpot? Well, he ran into the ancient remains of a Minox society, those bat-like creatures in the Star Wars universe. As Vectivus and his crew started mining, they got way more than they bargained for, workers falling sick, force-sensitive folks having trippy visions of Minox societies. It was like a force-induced fever dream. Did Vectivus panic and press on? Nope. He hit the brakes on mining and put his workers' safety first. But instead of calling it quits, our Sith Tycoon's curiosity kicked in. He dived deeper into the dark energy rabbit hole, and guess what he found? Found, the truth about the dark side. So Darth Vectivus, having stumbled onto the dark side's existence, decided it was his time to turn his cosmic curiosity into a full-blown road trip across the galaxy. But here's where he stood out. Before jetting off, he made sure his former crew had new gigs. Compassionate Sith alert! As he set forth, Vectivus wasn't casually strolling the Sith path. He actively hunted for a Sith Lord to school him in the dark arts. And guess what? He struck Sith gold again, finding a master who molded him into the Dark Lord we know today, Darth Vectivus. Now, this is where his Sith story takes a detour. Unlike the Sith checklist of galaxy domination and destruction, Vectivus had a unique agenda, seeking knowledge and get this. He managed to tap into the dark side without turning into Sith soup. Plus, he wasn't plotting planetary wipeouts. Instead, he was deep diving into ancient Sith rituals. Talk about a Sith with a scholarly twist. Having soaked up enough cosmic wisdom, Darth Vectivus rolled back to his turf, now rocking the Sith Lord title. Grateful to the dark side, he threw up a massive mansion in the asteroid's heart, nearly taking a power trip down the rabbit hole. And because every Sith needs a memoir, Vectivus cooked up a personal Sith holocron, spilling all the tea on his dark side journey. And just before clocking out, he even crammed his business wisdom into the holocron for the next gen Sith entrepreneur. Wow, talk about leaving a legacy. Though Vectivus missed out on that whole immortality gig like Darth Plagueis or Darth Vitiate, he got pretty cozy with the dark side, so much that his soul basically airbnb beat itself in his mission. Now fast forward a few centuries of playing the spectrum hide and seek, another Sith, Lumia, played Force Phantom Matchmaker, bringing Vectivus back from his soulful slumber. Post-resurrection, Lumia spilled the beans on her grand plan for galaxy domination, and she baited three Jedis into his mansion, and that's when he encountered Jedis for the first time. Vectivus, now a seasoned Force Phantom host, kept busy in his mansion. He even schooled another Sith, Alima Rar, on the Force Phantom technique. Unfortunately for Rare, Vectivus's crib got crashed by some Sith Order overreacting to the thought of Jedi learning dark arts. They bombed the Sith Shrine, putting a permanent end to Vectivus's dark side legacy. Talk about a tough break. In a nutshell, Darth Vectivus is like an oddball of the Star Wars crew. His quirky ideas set him apart from the usual brooding Sith Lords. And what's cool is his chill vibe with the dark side. No rage fits, just patience and pragmatism. It's like having a Sith who's not all about anger and hate, which is a really refreshing twist in the galaxy far, far away. That's all for today. What did you think about this unique Sith? Let us know down in the comments below. If you like this video, then please like and subscribe to the channel for more. May the Force be with you.